Hey, they said Jalen was, they said Hurts was impressive, but look at this footwork drill. You see, kind of stiff, feet really not chopping how you would want a quarterback to chop, but he's a rookie. You know what I mean? He got time to learn. You know what I'm saying? But look at how Carson Wentz looks when it's time for his, his footwork drill. Look how fluid the hips look. Look, look at the footwork. Look at the spacing that he keeps between his feet. It's levels to being a starting quarterback in a franchise win, man. But Carson, <laughs> it's a joke. What a joke. Nigel. Never trust a man named Nigel. So Nigel Bradham gets to his new team. Hold on, Lord Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Nigel Bradham gets to his new team, the Saints. Reporters ask him a question, you know. Who oh what 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 they ask him? I'm trying I'm trying to get the question right. They ask him something on the lines of what's the difference of you know being with the Saints as opposed to your last two teams, which were the Eagles and the Bills. Oh, well, I'm with a winning organization now. Didn't Nigel come to us in 2016 and leave last year? Didn't Nigel win a Super Bowl with us? Weren't the Eagles 38 and 26 while Nigel was there? Come on, bro. You would have you would have winning organization now, though, right, Nigel? <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy how these things happen. So now you would have win an organization, Nigel. Listen, man, the, the disrespect to the Philadelphia Eagles will not be tolerated. I'm not tolerating it no more. I'm not going into this season. I'm not tolerating it. You would have you would have win an organization, huh? The Saints are equivalent to us. No matter how much some of you little Drew Brees fans and all you NFC South dudes, want, no, no, it's nothing you could say. The Saints are equivalent to us. Both got one ring. Eagles made the playoffs three straight years. So I don't know if Nigel forgot that his one and only ring came with the Philadelphia Eagles. I don't know if he forgot that at all. I just know Nigel wasn't in his right mind when he said it. You know what I mean? It don't even deserve a response. All you got to do is pull up his tweet. All you got to do is pull up his tweet where he's so happy to win a Super Bowl. World champs, baby. Ain't that you, Nigel? Anyway, moving along. Gerald McCoy's done for the season. I wish him a speedy recovery. You know what I mean? It just it just it just reminds me so much of the wheelchair winch jokes. It reminds me so much of the Dallas Goddard getting punched and sucker punched in the club jokes. It just reminds me of so much. It does. It reminds me of so much. But we're going to have some class here in Eagles Nation. We're going to start twisting the narrative. We're not going to sit here and make no fun about no dude who's done for the season and training camp. We've seen this story far too often. You know what I mean? Like I said, I wish him a speedy recovery. You know what I mean? He is one of the better defensive tackles in the game. So for all these Cowboys dudes who about to start making these videos, trying to make you, trying to make it seem like they ain't missing nothing, they bluffing. Come on, man. Gerald McCoy, is he one of them ones at the defensive tackle position, period. You know what I'm saying? It's funny, though, you know, some of these Cowboys YouTubers who text me frequently when Eagle News pop up because their ears is so glued to the streets about Eagles News. I ain't getting no text from them today when Gerald McCoy, you know, when, when, he, when he ruptured his quad, I ain't getting no text from him today. But, you know, that's just how the dice roll. That's how the ball roll. You know what I'm saying? But this is the funny thing about this Gerald McCoy thing. This is the funny thing about this. He's going to miss more time from this one season then Carson Wentz missed in his entire career. Funny how that works, right? Carson Wentz missed eight regular season games. He's going to miss 16 games. He's going to miss 16 games. He's going to double what Carson Wentz got done. You know what I'm saying? He's going to double Carson Wentz's total. It's funny how that works. But you know what I mean? But y'all keep going with the wheelchair Wentz jokes. It's going to get tired soon enough. You know what I mean? When he plays his second consecutive season with 16 games and he only missed eight games in his whole career. Come on, bro. Right now, he missed a two-game-a-year average, but he wheelchair wins still, right? Moving along. Camp, camp looked good. Camp looked good. I'm excited. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited for a multitude of things. You know, Carson is developing the chemistry that we all want him to develop with the number one pick in Jalen Rieger. Uh, Dallas Goddard is looking good. Um, Sean Bradley is looking good. They say Sean Bradley... Took him off his feet. He tried to come across the middle. Uh, Quez Watkins continues to impress. Deshaun Jackson is Deshaun Jackson. You know what I'm saying? 
Now we had we had quite a bit of talk with, during lunchtime with the bullies about you know some of the injuries that the Philadelphia Eagles have reported today. You know what I mean? A couple guys week to week, couple guys day to day, stuff like that. It's nothing too serious. What you take out of that? What you could take out of that is two things. Number one being that we're just being precautious with the guys on our roster. We're just taking a precaution. You know what I mean? We don't want guys to get hurt for no reason, especially guys who already got a little nagging, a little aches and pains. We don't want that. And another thing. You know what I mean? Somebody could be gone. Somebody could very well be on the trade block. Listen, listen, I'm telling you, man, do not be surprised if you see J.J. Ortega Whiteside gone. Do not be surprised if you see him gone. The competition, the competition that we have at wide receiver is way too deep for him to thrive. I don't think he's going to be able to thrive, period. You know what I'm saying? He's just not going to be able to thrive. I just I, I don't see it happening. You you see you see you see Barnett Deontay Barnett out there caught two touchdown passes in practice today in minicamp. You know um, both from um, both from um, Jalen Hurts. You know what I'm saying? You see the stuff that Quez Watkins is putting on film and these little workouts and stuff like that. You see Rager just just already getting reps with the starters. You know what I mean? Everybody has gotten reps with Carson Wentz so far. You know what I'm saying? You see the tight ends. They said Miles Sanders looked amazing. They said Corey Clement looked amazing. I think that, you know, we're bi we're getting the pieces together. Dude's going to get out there, and we're going to put the right combination of guys on the field at the same time. We're going to see some big things. We're going to see some big things. I'm excited, man. I'm, I'm, I'm truly excited to see the guys in pads. You know what I'm saying? Um... The injuries, you, you know what I'm saying? The injuries don't surprise me at all because guys haven't been getting their regular workouts. Guys haven't been, um, you know, guys been social distancing. The muscles have been relaxed and you jump right into these, you know, padded workouts and stuff like that. It don't surprise me at all. But like I said, man, you hate to see a man go down for the remainder of the season. It's just not something you want to see, man. But let me know what you think in the comments.